once again, it's your boy Lobo KBC. So it was a fun day, man, painting on that cinder block, man. I love painting on cinder block. I got my little table, all my tools I need. I'm just sketching out my first outline right there. You know, I think it's important to use reference when you're painting, but I paint. I've been painting so long that I have all these references in my mind. I sketch every morning with a cup of coffee, so all this is like fresh in my head. That's my boy Dre over there laying down his sketch, you know. Um, this is actually his second time painting, but you could tell by his abilities that, yo, dude is a natural. If you heard that beep, that's my coffee right now. I'm actually doing a voiceover. And um, just a couple of days later, I had to work on all the editing, ask people for photos, had to go back to the spot, move the camera around, zoom in, zoom out. All these technical things. I'm telling you, I'm doing this all on my iPhone 14. And there you go. Um, yeah, yeah, I didn't want to buff the whole spot. So I just took some Kills Primer that we had right there. And I buffed the inside of my name and the little Spider-Man character I'm going to end up doing. And um, they're going to they're gonna hindsight now. I should have just buffed the whole spot because you're going to see when I do my piece, there was something that that didn't really work out correctly, but it's still look good at the end of the day. At first, I was going to do my piece all white. I was going to add a second layer of white, which I did end up doing a whole second layer of white. But I ended up wanting to use some of my paint, make the color pop a little bit. So I had some paint that was given to me. It was some beer brand from Home Depot. So I tried out with that. I used the factory cap on it. I didn't have a cap that worked on it or it has, it has a whole different valve set. I ended up jumping back into using Rust-Oleum again. Me and Rust-Oleum got a long history together. <laughs> Over 25 years. It's still one of my favorite paints, but the price is getting a little ridiculous on them. That's Dre right there. He's laying down his primer on his side. Then on the other side, I got Mungo doing the we base our background on, on the whole comic book theme right there. Dre's doing the Venom. I did a little Spider-Man and Mongo did a Juggernaut. And now this is the part that took me a long time to get down packed. Just doing my outline and cutting back. At first when I used to do this, I used to count. I used to be like one, two, three. And I used to count every time I sprayed my outline, I cut back. But I've been doing this for over 25 years now. So now it's just like second nature. But for a very long time, I used to count. I used to be like, one, two, three, do a line. One, two, three, do a line. And now it just comes like natural to me. <laughs> it's funny, man, watching myself paint. Cause you see, like, I'm like eye level with the barbed wire. So every time I gotta like lean my head back just to outline the piece. Or like tuck underneath it. It's crazy. Yeah, that was the part that earlier in the video I said I should have did better. I didn't prime in between my letters. So that purple on my 3D, it doesn't really show it was vibrant as the rest of the fill. That's the only thing I regret looking back at this video. I should just solid primed everything. See, the beauty about using paint that is like having an erase in your hand. You see, I didn't like what I was doing right there. I just cleaned it up, changed the profile of the letter, bang, right there on the spot, you know? 
What am I doing right here? I think I'm just doing some undershadowing. This is Dre's second time painting, man, but he's been a tattoo artist for over 15 years, so his ability to do artwork is nothing but natural for that dude. Right here, I'm, I'm mixing this orange into the yellow and the other orange. Give it an undertone. Some highlights and lowlights. The original Spider-Man was in black, but I ended up changing him into his original costume. And right here, I'm just coming in with a green. I'm just giving some kind of dimension to the inside of the name to make the letters pop out a little bit. Give me some little bit of funky shadows. And man, thank God I put on that shirt that day. The sun came back out. I protect myself from the sunburn right there. Still cool. And you know, it hides my physique. <laughs> you know, I gotta be like, damn, you motherfucking need to die. But shit. And also, this time I got caught out on my last video for not wearing my respirator the whole time. So, thanks, heck. That's my old boss from when I was in high school. Left the comment. He said, man, yo, you ain't got your respirator on. And you know what? You're totally right. You gotta remember, man, there's tools out there to help us, you know? We ain't getting any younger. So I come prepared all the time. I got my table. I got knee pads on. I got my respirator. I got my long sleeve shirt protecting from the sun. <laughs> it's funny, man. I think about them old timers when you're growing up and they're like, yeah, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. You're like, yo, be quiet, old timer. And now when you start hitting that age, you're like, damn, they was trying to give us that information from way back. You know, we just stubborn. And I'm just throwing in some red right now to make the letters pop on the bottom. I wanted to make it look like a little explosion, like the Kirby crackles from the comic books back in the days. They just popped in my head when I was sketching it. So I just threw those little bombs in the bottom, exploding off my piece from the center. I try to always bring the center point in my name to pop out the most. So it's like, yeah, like your eye gets pulled into the middle and it explodes the rest of your name. I'll just start coming in, I'll start, start doing some designs, you know. The way I paint is kind of sporadically. I really don't have an idea when I get to the wall, like what I'm gonna do. I didn't know that day I was gonna paint a Spider-Man. I didn't know that day I was gonna use these colors to paint my name. I just, I just work with what I got. And then that's, it brings me back. Like that's how I was brought up. We went racking, we got some paint. We didn't even know what color schemes we was gonna do. We just work with what we had. And I still paint like that to this day. I really don't think while I'm painting, I just go for it. I just see something, I grab it, I try it, I like it, I use it. You know, it don't really matter sometimes. You know, you just gotta work with what you got. Now this is the time that I go crazy, trying to fix up every little detail and try to make sure everything looks good to the eye. You know, add a little highlight here, a little shadow there. You know, try to make it look as clean as possible. Step back, look at it. All right, let me add some of this right there. Let me try that right there. Try 
like this if it don't work. Like I said, you got the magic. There goes your boy right there, Spider-Man. That's a close-up of my name right there. Always got to throw my girl's name up in there. That's Dre right there. That's his Instagram handle right there. And the second time painting, man, it's pretty dope. And it flows right into my name perfectly. Bang, there goes the explosion in the middle of the B. Lobo Uno. And the end of the wall, Mongo. And that's an Instagram handle right there. Now, this is a special guest right here. Man, this is a style that I'm always drawing in sketchbooks, like a more bubbly, cartoony style. And I never really painted. So I had the opportunity to paint with Girl Mob. She showed up to the yard that day. And then we just got funky right here. This is like a two hour piece right here. We gotta thank the Epitome Gallery, man, for giving us a place to paint and also for the supplies, you know what I mean? We got a local spot to pick up some paint, a local yard to paint at, and giving us the opportunity to meet other people coming from different parts of California. There goes Miss Teal. I didn't have any live action flicks of her, so I just clipped that together. That's the final result. You know, the sun was hitting it kind of hard. So my homegirl Banish sent me these pictures from a couple of days later. I appreciate that. And that's the paint time for this week. Catch y'all later.